Well, hello and welcome to today's video where I'm answering that question, what should you be doing to market your art in 2022? Now, as we know, over the last couple of years, things have changed quite dramatically. Should you be marketing online, offline, or a mixture of both? Are there some strategies you should be stopping altogether or new ones that you want to be adopting? How can we be doing that in a smart and effective way whilst also, of course, having plenty of time to do all that lovely creative stuff? So that's what we're going to be answering in this video. Now, if you're new here, my name's Sophie and I help my fellow artists to build profitable business around their current creative practice. So if that sounds like you, you're in the right place. We discuss all things business related on this channel. And if you'd like to learn more, don't forget to subscribe um, and hit the bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. So let's dive into seven things I think you should be doing to market your art this year in 2022. And it all starts, number one, with having a simple marketing plan. Yes, separate to a business plan, and you might be saying, oh my goodness me, Sophie, how many plans do I need? But a business plan, of course, is essential. And if you need to learn more things about business, then check out this video. That's gonna walk you through everything you need to know to put together your business plan for this year. But here we're talking about a marketing plan. And a marketing plan, you'll find that there's quite a bit of crossover but there's some key pieces in there that you're gonna go into more detail, which are really going to help you flesh out what you should and shouldn't be doing. So areas that you're really gonna to want to dive deeper into are things like your ideal customer. How are you going to communicate to them? Where are they? How are you gonna find them? If you wanna get started on that journey, then there's a link to a video below um, where you can watch that afterwards as well. We've also got a free download. Don't forget to grab our free download, which is an ideal customer avatar worksheet. A big part of having a marketing plan is really fleshing out exactly who your customers are. And then once you have that information, well then making decisions on what strategies you're gonna use based on where your audience is already showing up. And trust me, that's where most of you are going wrong right now. Because it's super easy to choose a marketing strategy and say, I know I'm going to do this, but if your audience are not there already looking for what you have, then you're gonna be wasting your time. A marketing plan, a simple marketing plan, is gonna help you gain that clarity so that you know which strategies, you know exactly how to communicate to your audience and put all of that together in a really effective way. It's also gonna help you actually work out, well, what do I want to achieve in terms of a goal for my marketing separate to my business plan? It's really important to have a marketing goal for the year so that you have something you're striving towards. So this is something we exclusively teach in our Art Business Academy membership. We have a fantastic marketing plan template and lots of trainings which really help you knuckle down and work out exactly all the pieces you need about the, your customer, your strategies, what you're gonna be doing, having a budget, having a goal, all the different areas that you need to cover. So if that's something that, that interests you as well as how to build your business, then we are gonna be opening the doors to the Art Business Academy in March of 2022. And if you're watching this video at time of, um, time of shooting, time producing, then don't forget to check out the link below because I have um, a waiting list that you can join and then you can be one of the first people to find out all the details about the Art Business Academy before we officially open the doors. All right, so number two things I think you should be focused on to market your art in 2022 is to focus primarily online. Now, obviously you're online watching this video, so likely you're used to consuming and watching other people's marketing efforts online, and maybe you do some yourself as well. You know, social media is one online strategy, but it really only is one small part of it. There's a whole lot of other pieces that you want to be considering. Why should you be doing primarily online? Well, we're still in a difficult world situation with the COVID pandemic. We have no idea how that's gonna pan out. And in order for you to create a business that's safe and stable um, and sustainable, then you want to be going where you know people are going to be spending time, and that is online. No matter what happens, people are looking online now more than ever. So if this is something that you put off because you said, oh no, I really hate all the online stuff. I don't wanna spend time on my phone. I don't wanna spend time on my computer. I hear you, I get it. 
but I can promise you that once you've learned a few key strategies and you've put the pieces together to, put, to build a fantastic online marketing strategy, you're gonna be able to spend more time in your studio space, more time in your creative space doing what you love because you've got some things on autopilot. All right, so focusing online is 100% what you wanna be doing this year. Number three of the things that you want to focus on in 2022 to market your art and something I talk about all the time, doesn't matter what year we're in, and that's building your mailing list. And that's a key piece of the one that we've just mentioned, focusing online, because building your mailing list is easily done online. There are lots of strategies to help you build your mailing list. If you want to watch a video where I talk about this more at length and check out this one, that's going to help you with building the mailing list. So building a mailing is, is something that you own, all right? This is part of your business collateral. You want to have a list of people who are interested in finding out more or who've maybe been to the website or they've been to something, they've seen something, they follow you on social media. You just want that next step. You want to be able to build trust and connection with that audience who are interested to hear more from you. Otherwise, you're stuck in that problem of, well, I've got a product and I need to put it, you know, I've got something that I've made and I'm going to put it up in my online store and then I'm going to sit and wait. And then I'm going to be a little bit upset because maybe I don't get any sales. By building a mailing list, you have got an easy way to put something on your sales platform and let a ready, warm audience know and say, hey, I've just posted this item up here, wherever you're going to sell your products and services. Um, and here's a great offer to go and buy it now. And trust me, somebody said to me the other day, oh, by the way, 90% of my art sales come from my email that goes out every, I think she said fortnight, actually. We recommend weekly, but she said every fortnight, that's where her sales are coming from, artwork sales. So there's some real data on the ground, all right? Number four, you want to start thinking about upgrading the social media. So what do I mean by that? Have you got an account, and a Facebook page or Instagram account? Maybe you're still on Twitter or you're using LinkedIn and it, you haven't really done anything with it for a while. Maybe you're looking at your Insta bio and you're thinking, oh, who is that? What is that one line I put there when I set it up? Now is the time to optimize that. People are looking online. People are searching everywhere. There's a video coming up next all about Instagram. You're gonna to want to know, well, what do I do in 2022 with my Instagram? The first thing you're gonna do is spruce up the bio. So now is the time to be really thinking, where can I optimize? Where can I improve? What could I make more of? Maybe I haven't been on that Facebook page for a while. Maybe there's an old header with an old bit of information that dates from a couple of years ago or a previous exhibition. You want to make sure everything is up to date. So that's the next thing to be doing to make sure that everything looks fresh and up to date. So when somebody lands on it, it's like, oh yeah, that's exactly what you do. And number five, out, we're talking social media. You want to choose just one core social media and focus on that. Why? Because this is a time thing, all right? It's very easy to set yourself up on every platform and be very scattered. A few posts over here, a few things over there, a repin over there, a share over there. And actually what can happen is that you're not very effective on any of them. So choose one platform and really put all your energy and effort into that. Make it look as good as it can. Get into a consistent posting routine, making sure you're engaging, doing all the things that you need to do. One core platform and let everybody know, hey, I'm on this platform. You want to find out about my artwork or my art or online courses or whatever I'm doing, you need to come to this platform. All right, make it really easy and obvious where you're hanging out and encourage your audience to join you there. And number six, following on that, I think I already said the E word, engage. All right, remember we said that we want to be focused online. One of the key things you need to do when you're focusing your marketing online is to make sure that you're engaging. Now that might be when you send out an email to your prospects and somebody replies to your email, try and get back to them as quickly as you possibly can. Now sometimes that can be quite a lot. Sometimes you can get a lot of emails, but you know, someone's taken the time to email you. So respond to that, engage with them. Somebody sent you a direct message on Instagram, get back to them, have a conversation. Maybe some people have left some comments under the post, comment back, thank them, start a conversation. So it's really important to put engagement right up there. 
Now I know we're all super busy, so we can only do the best we can do. But just by putting maybe a little timer or a little reminder in your calendar every day, just to say, hey, have I done the engagement? Have I been over engaged with my ideal audience? Have I started some conversations? Have I connected with people? It doesn't need to take a huge amount of time, 15 minutes, 10 minutes even, but 10 minutes consistently is going to make a huge difference then two weeks passes and you answer a message and then, I don't know, six days passes and you respond to a comment or even worse, 20 days passes and you go, oh my God, I had a comment, I better answer that. All right, engagement is about being more in the moment as best as you can and just keep it all moving forwards. And number seven things that I think you should be doing to market your art in 2022, you're probably wondering why I haven't mentioned it yet, it's the V word, it's video. So here's what I would recommend. I would recommend that at a basic minimum, 50% of the content that you put out, wherever you put it out, needs to be video. There's endless, endless stats that are gonna show you that on social media platforms, um, wherever you go, video is being promoted. The algorithm is pushing and favoring video. If you put any type of video out on Instagram, of which there's quite a lot of varieties, right? You could be doing a reel, you could put a video in your feed, you could go live. There's lots of different things you could do. But their, their Instagram's going to favor that. You're going to be seen by more people if you use video. So this is why we're over here on YouTube. So if you teach or share or do something, consider having a YouTube channel. Whatever you're doing, you want to be putting up a video. If you're going to be using Facebook primarily, then do live videos, put up pre-recorded videos, make very small taste of videos, use videos in your story. Use videos at least 50% of the time. And here's the caveat, if you're already doing that, see if you can take it up to 75% of your time, because I promise you the results are going to show. When you can post a video over a static post, you will get more engagement. And engagement leads to interest, leads to sales. And that's ultimately what you're all here for, right? How do I make more sales? How do I make a living from my art, Sophie? That is the question I get asked all the time. And then the next question is, I don't understand marketing, what should I be doing? So this is what you should be doing for 2022. You need to make a simple marketing plan of what you're gonna be doing. You wanna be focusing primarily online. You want to make sure that a big part of that is building the mailing list. You wanna spruce up those social media accounts. You wanna focus on just one of them. You wanna get that engagement really up there. And then when you're putting content out, you wanna be putting out moving content, all right? Video, video, video. So if you're asking yourself, what should I post today? The answer is video. <laughs> <laughs> one way or another. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be doing out of the things I've talked about today because I love to hear from each and every one of you. Let me know or if you've got any questions around any of these things then shoot me a question in the comments below and I will answer you of course. So look out for the next video which is I say going to be all about Instagram strategy and from there I think we're going into Pinterest strategy. So we're focusing online, we're focusing with practical things that you can do to really help grow your business in 2022. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up because that really helps get the video out and seen by more people um, and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.